Ask any fan of indie pop and they'll be able to tell you that Zack Knight is a British Asian singer, songwriter, composer and producer. But they're more likely to use words like sensation or star to describe him. He visited South Africa recently and Kriya caught up with him in Josie. Nowadays with social media, the possibilities are endless and you can become an international superstar. That's exactly what happened with Zack Knight. Not only does he have 1.6 million followers on YouTube, but his videos also have 13 million views. And that's why he's in South Africa for a sold out performance. Today, we're here nice and early, not only to get to know the star, but see how he prepares for tonight's show. Going. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to Mela. It's very good to have you with us. Thanks for having me. Very first tour to South Africa. Tell me a little bit more about the experience. Well, it came out of nowhere, to be honest, because we just come back from the India tour. And that was very tiring and exhausting. And then Kiza was like, dude, you've got to go to Africa now and do a bunch of shows there. <laughs> so yeah, like, meeting people here has actually made it all worth it. How did you get into singing? Was this always kind of a passion for you? Mostly, I love dancing and just performing and just engaging with like crowds and stuff. And then it kind of evolved from that to music and singing and parents obviously being playing a huge instrumental role in that. Having a mom who's from Pakistan and a dad from East Africa, how did that influence your music? My dad loved Qawwali music, Nusraf Dali Khan, Rahab Dali Khan, and then my mom's very much in the Bhangra and uh, just generally just crazy up-tempo music. That's where my music is at naturally. I didn't force it, it just happened to be that way. So I think they kind of, you know, balanced it out. Songs are kind of a fusion of English and Indian. How did that come about? For a few years, I was just making music for other people. And then I made a song with Kiza, which he then sent to India's biggest record label. And they then decided, well, why don't you release it yourself? And we put you out there as, you know, Zack Knight. So is that how you ended up kind of getting into the Bollywood scene? That kind of happened by accident, where they just got in touch and said, hey, why don't we feature it in one of our movies? And that was really it. Bob Diggity then went on to win an IFA. Yeah, I'm super happy about that because I got it as music composer and I think that's kind of my like proof that I'm not only just a guy who goes up on stage and sings, I've got more to me and, and I feel like that's going to help me have a future in the music industry, like be able to make my own music and have longevity. Couldn't make the actual award ceremony because in Hollywood and Bollywood everything's just last minute. What has been one of the biggest highlights of your career? I released a song called Nukre. I'll never forget that moment. That was the first time the music it just went globally. I know what you're thinking, and I don't blame you. Everybody try to get your attention. What advice would you have for youngsters who want to get into the music industry and use social media as a tool? Social media is really helpful. I think if it wasn't for social media, I wouldn't even be able to put my music out there. No record label wanted to give me a record deal. No one really believed in me. And if you're in that position where no one's supporting you, letting the world decide is the most important thing. But after going through it all, I think there's good and bad points to everything. And I think I would try and stay away from social media. A lot of people are counting on likes. They think it's all about being popular on social media. That'll make me happy. That's a very, very dangerous road to go down. So I'd avoid relying on it, but use it as a platform if it helps you spread your music or whatever art you do. While Zach is the front man, his show is very much a team effort, with DJ and producer Donny Brasco taking care of the lights, visuals and mix. Donny, pretty much the creative genius behind tonight's show. Tell me about the creative process. When you're doing a show, there's so many elements that go into it. Like, you've got the music, you've got Zach making sure he sounds perfect. He's on there, he's singing lives. Got to make sure the levels don't clash. And you've got the visuals, you've got the lighting to match everything. So there's a lot. And at the end of the day, we're here to do a job. We're here to, like, give the best product. It's down to the audience. And if they're not sitting there, I'm like, <sighs> there's no point. In the next few moments, this room is going to be filled with nighters. The last few touches are being done and a final practice. I cannot wait to see him perform live. Zach has said that he's been influenced by Usher and Voice to Men. And you can see and hear the inspiration he's found in Michael Jackson. 
Husbands, why did you decide to bring Zack Knight to South Africa? There's been a demand by the youth. I've never seen so many youngsters at a Bollywood concert ever. What separates Zack to some of the other artists that you've previously brought? Zack is young and he does a lot of mashups with English songs and it's really refreshing to know that the genre won't die down. The youth are there, they love it. Bollywood will continue. Let's see if we can find some exciting nighters. Hi guys, how you doing? Hi. Why do you love him so much? He's dancing, he's singing, and him, he's very handsome. <laughs> he sings so nice. You know when somebody has a really good voice and they just draw you in? And then some of the lyrics of his songs, I'm like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> As you can see, the biggest fans always get here first to get the best seat in the house. Are you a big nighter? Yes, definitely. I love his looks, I love his songs. Oh, they like, they get to me in a way that nobody else does. I love Zack Knight. Jumper, raise up your hands, guys. Three, two, one, let's go. What? What? Jumper. is Zack Knight is a born performer. If you ever get the opportunity to see him live, do not miss it. Come on, beat it like a drum, did it, did it, dum, dum. I did it, dum, dum, I did it, dum, dum. 